There are three tenets to the straight line that you need to know. Very, very basic. Number one, you're going to develop instant rapport on both a conscious and an unconscious level. I'm going to show you how to do that. More powerful is the unconscious level. And just so you know what rapport is not, the biggest mistake I see novice salespeople make when they go to meet somebody, if they walk into an office and there's a fish on the wall, they'll talk about the fish. No one cares about the damn fish. Okay? When you go into someone's office, developing rapport is not about just playing into what their life is all about. If he says he was in a hunting trip in you know, North Carolina or South Carolina, you don't say, oh, really? Tell me all about the hunting trip. Next thing you know, you're talking about crocodiles and alligators, whatever else is in in the Carolinas, right, and what's going on in this hunting trip. That's not how you develop rapport with somebody. You develop rapport with someone when they realize that you're an expert, instantly. When they realize that you're a person that can help them achieve goals, instantly. That's how you develop rapport. You develop rapport when they know you care. Not about their stupid story. And I'm sure the story's fine, but that's not what makes people want to do business with you. It's when they know that you can help them achieve their goals and most importantly, take control of your life. So number one, you're going to learn in the first four seconds to develop instant unconscious rapport, which will then turn to conscious rapport. Number two, okay, you're going to learn to gather intelligence. There are certain specific questions that you need to ask somebody and they're slightly different based on what you're selling. But the problem with a lot of salespeople is they talk a lot more than they listen. Asking questions, the right questions, not any questions, the right questions is crucial to understanding exactly what your client's needs are. So again, I'm not like one of these hard selling people. It's like, this is barrel through. No, no, this is elegant. It is elegant. Okay, but it happens in a very logical way. And each time you do it, what you're doing is this. If you start off here, each thing that you do takes you slightly, slightly down the line. You're always moving forward, pushing forward in your sale, rather than just spiraling out of control like most novice salespeople do. And anyone here a sales manager? Anyone a manager? Great, we got one, two, four, five. Great. This is mana from heaven for a sales manager because it allows you to take new people that have no experience and actually show them the concept of moving a sale forward so you, know, you can develop rapport and be moving towards the close at the same time. You can answer an objection and be moving towards the close at the same time. Everyone get this? It's not one or, that's why I said those things are crap. You know, it's not like you say, okay, I'm gonna spend 32 seconds developing rapport. 30, done, I'm done developing rapport. You develop a rapport when the guy is writing out his, when he's signing the order, you're still developing rapport. It never ends. You're still qualifying the guy. Even after he said yes, and then you're trying to find out what his aliveness is, and I'll get into that later. So after the sale, you can develop a customer for life. If there is no pie chart of it starts here in the press. It's all the same, okay? You're starting off here. You're looking to go here. This is the promised land, and every single word out of your mouth has to be deliberate. It has to be looking to get you to here, to get the guy what he wants so you can get paid. Now, understand this. If you're qualifying the guy and your product does not suit his knee, what are you going to do? You're going to push him? No. You end the encounter. That's the key. In other words, when you're qualifying somebody, you don't want to be pitching unqualified people. You don't want to be slamming unqualified people close. And if your product, by the way, isn't good for them, try to find them one that is. Send them to your competitor. That's what it takes. That's what the strength, it's not about just slamming anybody close, and it can be, and I used it that way, and I paid the price emotionally with my freedom, money, but if you use the straight line the right way, you will just get filthy rich in a really, really short period of time. Okay, so that's number two, is to gather intelligence. Number three is controlling the sale by keeping it on the line and moving it from here to here. Now, you see I drew, drew these two dotted lines above and below. Okay, so let me just explain to you real quick exactly what this means and then we'll move forward. The straight line represents the perfect sale. 
That means everything went exactly right. You walked in the door, they loved you, or you're on the phone, they said, oh yeah, everything's great. And you asked them if they were interested. Yes, I'd love to hear, great. You tell them what your product's about. Oh my God, it sounds wonderful. You say, listen, it costs X dollars. Great, how do I get started? How often does that happen? Right, not too often. That's the perfect sale on the line, okay? What happens more often than not though, okay, is that you try to move down the line and you keep going, and he keeps trying to get you off the line out here into Pluto. He doesn't say what you want. He doesn't follow your preconceived notion about what the sale should be. And you're sitting there trying to, like, you know, you're like, you know, it's like you're put, like a Dutchman sticking your finger in the dike, trying to stop all the leaks, right? Rather than realizing that before that, you, before you even start the sale, before you walk in the door, before you pick up the phone, before anything starts, you realize that a your goal is to keep it from here to go to here on the line. He's going to try to take you off the line. So what you need to do is, in a very elegant way that empowers him and that empowers you, is keep him on the line or close to it. And in these boundaries here, when he's off the line, you're going to do two things. You're going to, one, develop rapport, and two, gather intelligence. That's what happens when you're off the line. When you're on the line and everything is going as he should, you're talking, he's saying, aha, uh -huh, and he says, great. How much does it cost? You say, X. He says, great. Closed. That's the exception to the rule. It'd be one out of 100 sales. Is that, is that simple? So what really happens in the real world is as you're looking to take him down the line, he's looking to push you off the line. So what you're going to learn is some very specific strategies that allow you to stop him from going too far, because this is the control. You're here, you're in control. If you're here, you're out of control. And you've lost the guy. You're out of rapport, he's off the sale, and you're losing time and money, and you're wasting your own time. You can't close the guy when he's out here, okay? When he's here, you can't close him either. You can close the guy when he's between here and here. So you're gonna learn strategies that are really, really effective and make him love you, or, him, or her love you, is to stop them, move them forward and bring them back to the line, okay? And that's really the essence, the structure of the straight line.